No, no, what? No, not this. Gosh, tadpole. No, why'd you do that? Oh, that's the opposite of what I wanted. Don't you just hate it when that happens? Oh, no, the whole thing. Fellas, was anybody gonna tell me that was there? Well, I'm gonna have to do something about this. Now, look, I know you see this and probably go, oh, sick, tadpole's officially lost it. Man, I've always wanted to see what his terrorism arc would look like. But there's actually a really good reason for why I did this. I... Uh, well, it was really, it was an ugly building. Maybe there isn't a good reason, but more importantly, I have some really cool plans for what I want to do instead. Now, lucky for me, it does actually involve just leaving this crater here. The problem is, it also involves a lot of blocks that I'm pretty sure I don't actually have. And by pretty sure, I mean, I know for a fact I don't have these blocks. Because to find them, I need to go to an ancient city. And if you know anything about, you know, eight-year-old worlds, ancient cities have not been around for eight years. And I have been just too lazy to go find one. Now, if I want to find one, we essentially have two ways of doing it. I can go strip mining underground and I will just find them if I do it that way. Or, fellas, I have recently become a psychic and I couldn't tell you why, but the numbers 35, 12, 32, 72 have recently just, they're doing something special for me. Oh, cool. Is this an entrance to it? Oh, good. I did bring a few torches. That was definitely on purpose. Now, I'm not a complete moron. I am going to make a stairway that takes us down here. Well, those are two different statements. I know that these ancient cities are supposed to have like really cool stuff in them. All I'm looking for right now is to make sure that they have the what's it called is it skulk i don't remember the name that's the one i don't think these are the ones that i need but let me try it okay so yeah that is just skulk if my memory serves i believe there's like a catalyst or something that i need to find i don't know i saw a video once where a guy like killed a cow and then it spread and it looked really cool and i want to try that myself i think i have to be really quiet here too did i summon the warden you're gonna shut your mouth if you know what's good for you i haven't summoned the warden yet on my bedrock world but i'm fairly certain it's these little rat snitches that are gonna tell him where i am so i need to avoid them i need to try and get this well that was easy that was a lot easier than i thought it was gonna be why do people always complain about how hard these are well i didn't come here to explore so i'm just gonna dip the last thing i want to do right now is piss off the warden and get killed in a cave speaking of which i don't know why people in real life also enjoy going caving have you ever been to an actual cave that wasn't in minecraft those things are terrifying and someone please let me out remember kids don't ever do this at home but i'm going straight up because i want to get out of here thanks for the memories so i have never actually used one of these before my understanding is you just sort of place it down and then find something to kill. Psst, hey, come here. I have a secret for you. There was no secret. Okay, you can go too. Well, that's fun. You literally have to kill things just to get anywhere. I'm just like a monarch. Unlike a monarch, I don't have any peasants to do my own work, so leave a like if you haven't already. We interrupt this program to bring you this message. Howdy, my name is Tinted Tadpole, and I'm with the law offices of Tadpole, 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 and Martinez. The creation of Skulk requires the souls of the damned as well as a few cows, and can be devastating for their families. If you or a loved one had your souls condemned to the underworld to build this, you could be eligible for considerably zero financial compensation. Don't wait, comment down below how we could be of help. I don't know what that was, but what I do know is we're finally finished with the damn skulk. Looking at this, you'd probably think, Tadpole, that wasn't very hard at all. Why the montage? Yeah, this is a couple stacks of skulk, and every single one of those was a different animal that had to die. Also, there's plastics in your blood, so sleep well. Moreover, I think this is pretty decent for what I'm trying to build. Mainly what I want that to be is sort of like a platform or like a basis for the actual build. Speaking of which, I, I don't think I told you what the actual build is going to be. So pretend I'm doing this on a big scale. I'm trying to create essentially like a snake's head, something like that, and then have a sword sticking through it. Well, that wasn't that complicated at all. This looks like a pile of crap, but I have planned out what the big one will look like. Oh, but you're just gonna have to stay till the end to find that. The majority of it is just going to be stone and deep slate, although I will need a bit of amethyst, uh, redstone, frog light, and something else. I don't remember exactly what it was. I kind of just winged it in creative, and I'm hoping it turns out good. If this turns out ugly, don't blame me, because it looks really cool in my head right now. I feel like that's how pretty much every build ends anyone has ever made started out, but mine especially is a real looker. I don't know where the middle of this is. Let's call it right about, yeah, that ought to be good. The basic idea to start with is sort of just to make like a vaguely flat, but rounded jaw. And then I'm gonna have it sort of come back around on top. I may have made this a little close to that building, but it's kind of too late for that now. I hope this wasn't a mistake. <laughs> Anytime I'm doing something in like creative, it always feels like, oh yeah, sure, you'll have the space for it. Yeah, I have very large buildings in the vicinity that don't want to move. Oh my gosh, total Pisces.
I know it's literally just like one line, but that's like pretty jaw shaped, isn't it? Boy, I better hope so. <laughs> Completely unrelated to this, it's March. Shout out to whoever is firing fireworks in my neighborhood at 8 p.m. on a Friday. Who hurt you? I did kind of want it coming out more, but I don't hate this. The thing is, you will notice, again, there's still that building there, so I kind of have to scrunch this up a little bit more than I was thinking. I'm gonna double up the height on everything on the base down here, because I do want it to look like the bottom jaw at least has a little bit of oomph. Guys, don't be too mad at me. I literally already hate this. When you look at a reptile, they almost look like they're frowning, so this jaw needs to come back a little bit more. I thought I went back far enough, but apparently I'm a sussy baka. I'm hoping if I just push it back a little bit more like this. Yeah, that's just gonna have to be better, because I'm not doing it again. Maybe the real issue here is because, uh, hey, genius, what's, like, the one thing that snakes are really known for? I'll give you a hint. It's not that pristine jawline. We gotta get those teeth in, baby. Also, to provide, like, a stark contrast for where the mouth is, we're just gonna do it out of Deep Slate. I know Deep Slate isn't, like, the darkest block that I could work with. When I started doing this on Twitch, like, half of the comments were, Uh, Tadpole, why don't you get some Blackstone? It's a lot darker. Do you know how hard it is to get Blackstone? You have to quite literally go to hell. And I'm a good Catholic boy. I ain't doing that. Oh, that's on my deep slate. Yeah, I mean, that really does give a nice mouth look to it. I'm getting very worried about that building, though, because I know the head still has to go back a ways. I mean, I've already blown up one building at this point. What's two? And don't you forget it. Depending on exactly how close it gets, I could just move, like, the entrance from over there to right there. But I don't wanna. That's stinky. Hey, stop spawning underneath the snake, you hell demons. Kids these days have no manners. Are you starting to see it now? Like, it has the lip. What am I saying? I said I was gonna make the fangs, and then I didn't make the fangs. I have, like, zero attention span. Also, get hype. This is, like, the first and only time you'll ever see me use scaffolding. I don't know what it is. I despise scaffolding. So I want them to be pretty far forward while also looking sturdy enough that these could reliably be fangs. Really, the only wrong way to do this is just make them look stupid. Okay, that looks like a snake tooth, doesn't it? I understand. It is like comically large, but at the same time, I do kind of want this to be a caricature because if you look at this and you have to second guess if it's a snake, is it really a snake at that point? What? Never mind. We're back on the I hate scaffolding train. What are the rules of this? Like, no matter where I place it, it just decides, no, nah, I'm not doing that one today. Now that looks like a snake. I don't know why these fangs literally took me like 15 minutes. They're so cool. Okay, fun. So, if I'm looking at this from here, the bottom of the jaw, I don't really have any room to work with. Ew, I don't want a creeper spawning in there. Get away, get out. The only area that I really have anything to add to is up top here. I do have to be really careful as I'm doing this though, because if you've ever seen a real snake, you know that they have like pretty thin heads. So the easiest way to mess this up is to make it like way too thick. Yeah, I guess that is head shaped. My only worry is like, did I make this area a little bit too thick? It almost looks a little bit cartoonish from that angle. And the problem is there's not a great way to prevent that. Let's try and add some eyes to this. I don't know that it's going to help. Yeah, the eye is whack, but it sort of has to be whack, doesn't it? If you've ever seen a snake before, they have like slitted eyes. Their pupil kind of goes like straight up and down. It's not circular like ours is. Blah, blah, blah. Shut up, science frog. Well, everything I just said was factually accurate. It's also factually accurate that I get no bit respectful women funny enough after I recorded that bit I went dead silent for like almost an hour because the problem is as I was building this thing I realized it's really easy to make the top of the head flat but a real animal wouldn't have a completely flat head so then I flattened it and then I rounded it and then I flattened it and then I rounded it and then I flat you get the idea all right that ought to give it some curvature what does that look like oh my gosh that's a snake no 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 kill it kill it get rid of it die you fiend no need to thank me fellas i've killed the snake oh it was a heck of a battle i tell you what you would not believe the hands required to wield a sword that size fellas now here's the thing it may not have been a real battle but that is one absolutely gorgeous snake statue also i don't have a name for it so if you'd like to come up with that let me know in the comments i'll post good screenshots on twitter so go follow me there if you're not already don't forget to smash that subscribe button and i'll see you guys